About a year ago, the Weather Network was given a private tour of carbon engineering in Squamish, BC, where we were introduced to direct air capture. We capture CO2 straight out of the atmosphere, bring it back down to the planet. Fast forward a year, we wanted to get some updates on how the company is doing. It's been a really exciting year since you were here with us last time. And you know, the thing that I like the most, I think, is that there's been a lot of growing recognition of the need for carbon removal and why direct air capture actually is feasible, it's affordable, and now it's available. One of the biggest announcements was a recent deal signed with United Airlines. They intend to make direct air capture a fundamental part of their plan to become the first airline to get to true net zero by 2050. And it's gonna be many, many years before we have electric planes. So what can you do to decarbonize aviation in between? Well, maybe what you do is you clean up the CO2 afterwards. They also announced a new Canadian purchaser, Shopify, who back in 2019 launched their sustainability fund with plans to invest five million each year in the most promising climate solutions and technologies. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna take CO2 directly out of this facility we have here in Squamish, and then we'll go away and permanently sequester it. So it's, it's fantastic. On top of partnerships, a new development company, 1.5, announced that they will finance and deploy Carbon Engineering's large-scale direct air capture technology in the US. And we got a sneak peek at the new renderings of the Texas plant where construction's expected to start later this year. This will be the world's largest direct air capture facility. It will do the work of 40 million trees in capturing CO2. It sure has been a busy year for carbon engineering, but they aren't slowing down anytime soon. CEO Steve Oldham says right now they have incredible momentum because companies are starting to realize just how valuable direct air capture is when it comes to fighting climate change.